Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Councillor. Um, well, I mean, while I welcome the election of Jenny Corbyn as the Labour leader, uh, I just want to point out, as, as the two Peter alluded to, that we still have the same MPs, we still have the same councillors in place, uh, and most of them didn't even contemplate supporting Jenny Corbyn. Uh, in Warrington, where I resigned from the Labour Party in February, uh, after five years of intimidation and bullying, uh, and two years suspension after that, just for voting against the cut, uh, I was the only councillor, a trust councillor, supporting Jeremy Corbyn. Um, and the Labour group laughed at me when, when I told them that as well. So I think I got the last laugh on that one. <laughs> Quickly, uh, to turn the Labour Party into true, true Democratic Socialist Party would take um, years uh, of massive struggle inside and outside the Labour Party. Uh, and even if JC survives, uh, the will of the Labour Party, yeah. the Labour Party will, will probably see an end to him anyway. Firstly, we've got to look at Labour's selection methods. Uh, you've got to look at you know, the, um, the, 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 you know, the, the wards, select the councillors, but they, they only select from who the uh, Labour Party put to tell them. Same with the CLPs, they only select the, they select the MPs, but from, from a, a, who the Labour Party put, put to them. So, um, you know, you've got to get into uh, the, 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 the mechanics of, of the Labour Party, like the NPF, the NEC, uh, things like that. You know, it, it takes years, and don't forget, Progress are still doing it. You know, they're, they're still, they, they've been on the back foot, but they will come back, they will rally and, and get in, into a position where they're, they're still carrying on running the Labour Party. Um, you know, the most vulnerable in our society can't wait any longer, really, for, for, for us to stop the, the, the vicious cuts. Uh, and if all Labour councillors actually, actually stood against um, the, the cuts, what a message that would send out, you know, uh, and what a mandate that would give JC. Uh, and, and we could probably put the Tory government on the means, really. But before anything, before anything uh, like this can happen, there will be a lot of debate, argument, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and everyone will just be waiting to see what happens next year. But Tusk can't afford to wait. Uh, uh, we can't afford to stand back and see what happens. Uh, we, have a pros we have the prospect, uh, we have to be proactive, sorry, uh, and let them know that we're still out there. Uh, we're, not, we're not prepared to, um, to, to let them get away with, with dumbing down the anti cuts agenda. Um, and, you know, we've got, we've got to attack, keep fighting, and. Uh, if, 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 if the Labour councillors or Labour MPs won't, won't stand against, uh, won't stand against uh, cuts, then, then Tusk will. Sorry, I'm trying, trying to cut this a little bit short.